Hello, this video covers how to solve a two-step equation, and it will have three examples in it. So our first example, negative 3x plus 7 equals 1. Again, our main goal is to figure out what does x equal, what number does it represent. So to help me stay organized, I always draw a line down my equal sign to make my two sides. Now, in order to get my x by itself, I'm going to have to get rid of two different numbers this time. I have to get rid of the 7, and I have to get rid of the negative 3. To decide which one to do first, I always think about which one is furthest away from my x. Well, in this case, that would be the negative 7, or I'm sorry, the plus 7. So I'm going to do the inverse, which is minus 7, and I need to do that to both sides. A plus 7 and a minus 7 cancel. Bring down what's left over, so this negative 3x comes down. Calculate the other side. 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Now, I also need to get rid of the negative 3. A negative 3 right beside an x, like it is here with no symbol in between, means that I'm taking negative 3 times x. So the inverse of multiplication would be division. So I'm going to divide by negative 3 on each side of my equal sign. So my negative 3's cross out, and now my x is isolated. It's all by itself. And if I calculate the other side, negative 6 divided by negative 3 is 2. And that's going to be my answer because my x is isolated. But before I move on, I need to check my answer. I need to make sure that it makes sense. So again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to start with the very original problem, negative 3x plus 7 equals 1. Still going to draw my line down my equal sign. But this time, I'm going to plug in the answer that I got into where the x is. So it's still negative 3, but now instead of the x, I'm going to replace it with the 2, the answer that I got when I was calculating. Plus 7 equals 1. And I need to make sure if I do this calculation, if I take negative 3 times 2 plus 7, will it make 1? Now I can type that in my calculator. I can do order of operations. I can calculate however I need. But negative 3 times 2 makes negative 6. Bring down the plus 7. Is negative 6 plus 7 1? Yes, it is. So 1 equals 1, and that's how I know I'm correct. We're going to go through these next couple examples a little bit faster. So this next example, still cut it down the equal sign. And again, my goal, just like with the other problem, is to get the x all by itself. So what number do I get rid of first? Well, the number that's furthest away from my x, which in this case is the minus 5. So the inverse of minus 5 is going to be plus 5. They cancel. If I bring down what's left over, that's the x over 4. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3 if I calculate this other side. And now what I have is x over 4, which really means x divided by 4. So the inverse of divide by 4 is going to be to multiply by 4 and I need to do that to each side. Now my x can be by itself, and 3 times 4 is 12. My x was isolated, so here's my answer. But before I move on, I'm going to check. I'm going to make sure that my answer makes sense. So I'm taking the answer, x equals 12, and I'm plugging that into where the x was in the original problem. Everything else is going to stay exactly the same, though. And I'm going to calculate. Does this side, when I calculate it, make negative 2? Well, using order of operations, I know that 12 divided by 4, well, that makes 3. Bring down all that other information. 3 minus 5 makes negative 2. Negative 2 does equal negative 2. That's what I needed it to do. So that's how I know my answer is correct. Last quick example. This one looks a little bit different. Draw my line down the equal sign. I need to get the x all by itself. Well, this time, see how that fraction's a lot bigger? This plus 1 is stuck up on the top of that fraction. I cannot get to it until I get rid of my fraction. Well, a fraction really just means divide. So if I'm dividing by negative 6, the inverse would be to multiply by negative 6 on each side. Bring down everything that's left over. 
Now I just have x plus 1 equals negative 18. To get the x by itself, I need to get rid of the plus 1, so I'm going to subtract on each side. And I'm finding that x equals negative 19. But as always, we're going to check this puppy. So x minus 1, or sorry, x plus 1 all divided by negative 6 equals 3. If I plug in the answer that I got, is it going to equal 3? Well, negative 19, keep everything else the same. And let's calculate. Negative 19 plus 1 on the top part of this fraction here. Negative 19 plus 1 is negative 18 divided by negative 6. Now, if I do this division, negative 18 divided by negative 6, that is 3. 3 equals 3, so I know I'm correct.